Hello everyone and welcome to the Getting Started with Harmony series. So when you are first getting started with Toon Boom Harmony, uh, checking out the initial workspace can be kind of intimidating. There's all these windows, all these tabs, all these tools. You don't know what they do, what's important to you, what's maybe extraneous you don't need to focus on right now. So I figured the best thing I could do is just start from scratch and show you how I would set up my workspace uh, for a nice efficient animation workflow. Uh, so if you want to follow along with me with your own copy of Harmony or Harmony Personal Learning Edition, if you're just checking the, the software out, we can uh, get a, 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 a nice, easy workspace set up for you. So right off the bat, I have to say that the default uh, Toon Boom workspace, which is what we got set up here, is um, pretty useful. Uh, it can be messed around with a little bit, uh, things can be moved around, tabs can be added to make it a little bit better for us. So let's do that now. Uh, to start with down here at the bottom, we got the timeline arguably the most important part of the animation software because it's where animation happens. I find it's kind of awkward down at the bottom uh, to reach and mess around with. So let's grab the tab here. And the great thing about Harmony is that the entire workspace is modular. So if I grab and drag that tab, you'll see I get this little highlight area and it will adapt depending on where I bring in the screen. It'll show you where it's gonna pop in the new timeline. So I'm gonna drop mine up here, right above my camera, release. And there we move the timeline to above the camera. I'm going to shrink this window here to make it a little less prominent. And there we go. Now I've got a, an easier to access, easier to see timeline. Below that, I've got my camera view. Uh, second most important, if not equally important uh, area. This is where all our, all our animation is going to be happening. And there's a second tab here, which is the drawing tab. And that's also very important. It's where we'll create a lot of our artwork. What I'd like to do, though, is add a couple more uh, tabs to this area. So the first is the node view, and if you look down here, you'll see the node view is already available. It's combined with the uh, color tab here. If I click on that, that'll open up the node view for us to look at. And this is a very important aspect of Harmony as well. And I find that it being in this small little window is kind of cramped, uh, and we're not really going to be able to work on this to the best of our ability. So I'm going to click and grab that tab and drag it up, and I want to combine it with the camera and the drawing tab here. So I'll just overlap those. You'll see that it highlights those two tabs. And I'll release it. And now we've got a nice big window to work on our node view. All right, I want to add another tab here that isn't currently visible. So I'm going to click this little plus icon. That's going to open up a drop down menu of all our different workspace views. And I'm going to select the perspective tab. That's going to open up a window that looks like this. And so in Harmony, even though we're doing 2D animation, we're actually working in a 3D space, and that becomes very handy. But we'll get into more of that later on in these lessons. But just know that it's good to have this available to you right away. So we're going to place it up here with these other important tabs. Just switch back to my camera view there. All right, so we're done here. We'll move on up to the top right-hand corner. We got our Tool Properties window, very important. And we've got our Library window, also very important. I'd like to add a couple more windows here though. So I'm gonna click the plus again, going down to top and select that. And what that does is give us a window that's the top down view of our scene. And that's important for the same reason that the perspective window is important. Then I'm gonna click this again. And because our library is already in the set of tabs, I'm also gonna add the node library. So I select that, that's gonna open up our node library window. This will be pretty interesting slash intimidating to you right now, but don't worry about it. We'll get more into this later. But just note the node library works in conjunction with the node view. They share a name. All right, so that's fine for here for now. I'm going to come on down to the color tab. And this is obviously very important. Any character coloring we do, background coloring, effects, props, what have you. We're going to have to create palettes and create colors in this window here. So it's good that it's set off on its own. But I also want to add one more tab here. So I'm going to cl click plus and go to layer properties. All right, that's going to create sort of a boring, empty gray box for now. But that's because we have no layer selected. And we'll definitely be coming back to this at a later date. And with that, you've got a Toon Boom workspace that's set up for a lot of the things you're gonna to need to deal with when doing character animation in Toon Boom Harmony, especially cutout animation. So once you're happy with your workspace or any time that you tweak your workspace, 
you can go up to Windows, Workspace, and then go Save Workspace As. This is going to allow you to rename the workspace that you just created. I'm going to call mine Steven Tutorial. And hit OK. Now you'll notice that this drop down menu up here is now called Steven Tutorial because this is the drop-down menu that contains all of your different workspaces. So if I click on that, you'll see default, a bunch of other ones I've made, and then Steven Tutorial down here at the bottom. And if you click on one of these, Toon Boom will automatically reset itself to be in that formation. So now we're back to that original default uh, layout that we started with. But never fear, you can always click this, click back on your tutorial view that you made just now with me, and it'll pop back to that. This is very handy because when you're doing different jobs in animation, like rendering or uh, editing or coloring or doing a bunch of other different things, working on backgrounds or special effects, you might need a layout that's a little bit different because it uh, uh, puts more priorities on different windows. So you can create all the different workspaces you want and quickly switch between them using this drop-down menu here. Well, I hope you found that useful. And if you did, please stay tuned because I'm going to do a bunch of different tutorials uh, that are based about getting new users of Harmony up and running really quick with all the nitty-gritty stuff. So I hope to see you soon, and until then, happy animating.